Hello everybody, this is Henry NWR for you with another review for you. As you can see, I have a lot of take and play engines and most of them I took out of the box just to make this video a little bit shorter because it will be a longer informational video. I'm doing a five part mini series of stuff I got while I was in Strasburg, Pennsylvania to see a day out with Thomas. And see I got the bag right there. And I got a whole lot of rare stuff that you haven't been on sale for either a long time or hasn't and a whole lot of new stuff. But either way, um, there will be, this is the take and play video. Then there will be a Trackmasters video, a Wooden Train video, a Bachman HO video, and a large scale video. And miscellaneous stuff will go in between a few videos. But either way, let's get started on our take along engines. First up, we have Bill and Ben here. Both twins look exactly the same in a very nice color. Indeed, these are probably two of my favorite take and play engines. This is Bill, by the way. <clears throat> like how they get the size of the buffer beams. And then there's Ben. The only difference is, is the name and the face. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And then here we have Toby and Floor 2 pack. It's just a normal Toby. It's pretty cool because it's Toby. Then we have uh, Floor right here. And this is, oh, sorry. This is the only way to get Flora, I should mention. So don't be looking for her by herself unless if you're on eBay. All right. And now then, I have. A little bit of a surprise that I didn't have. Gordon. I have a take-along version, but not the take-and-play. And there are some differences. I will point them out after you see them. It's tender. There's the cap. Alright. Really, um, <clears throat> barely a difference, but this blue on Gordon is a little bit of a darker shade. And it's like that on all the engines, basically, like Thomas and James, and even though James is red, but you sort of get it. And also, right here, the safety valves and the whistles are like a goldish color. Well, it used to, they used to be bright yellow. But I don't know if anybody's noticed that, but I just thought I'd point that out. Anyway, now we have a Blue Mountain Mystery Engine. And this is the normal Victor Comes to Sodor. I have another one, the Sea Soak Victor, that I got a few months back, but I'm waiting to get the Trackmasters talking one to do a video on that before I show it. And I like how it has his emblem right there, and I'll use this one in a comparison with the Sea Soaked one as well. Pretty cool though. <clears throat> then we have the Reneas free pack. And this is Renee's in his yellow coat of paint. Has the blue stripes and everything. Looks very nifty. His nameplate, it's really small, but and the camera's not focusing on it, I don't think. But you can read it, as well as his number two. <clears throat> now then, on the box it says you can press this up and down, which is true. you know. But they also didn't mention that right here... The back of this freight car has a door that opens. See? Which is really cool. But I thought I'd just tell you that so you can, um, won't have to know that the box is lying to you. Then we have Sir Handle with his quarry cars. And this Sir Handle has quarry dust all over him. It's a really cool looking Sir Handle though. And then we have a regular flatbed with a quarry car or quarry stone load. Oh, drop that. I'm just dropping everything today. And then we have the mine hopper car. It has a blue mountain quarry symbol on the side. But what you do with this one, you flip it over, looks empty. Flip it over again. It is full. Yep. And that's for them. And then I got Winston and Rusty still in their boxes. I looked for a Trackmasters Luke, but they didn't have one. Or Take and Play, I mean. 
which I find sort of weird. You have every single other Blue Mountain mystery character, but you don't have the, um, <coughs> sorry about that. You don't have the normal main character, but either way, just show you the different style packagings on them. See, right here it just has a Thomas, and right there it has Thomas at the Blue Mountain Quarry. Either way, let's open Rusty first. All right. Nope, nothing on there. There. <clears throat> now, Rusty is probably one of my favorite taken play engines as well, just um because of all the detail on there. Cause you got like all the grills right there. You got rivets on along the side. Um, I think these are exhaust pipes. I'm not completely sure, but you just have like all those little details on them that you don't get on the other ones. That I find just makes it above all. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But I've been sick, so that's why I've been coughing and clearing my throat a lot. So sorry about that. Then we also have Winston. Pretty cool little character in the movie. He also in Happy Birthday, Sir. Season 16 episode. Got the fat controller right there in the middle. His legs have been swallowed up by the plasticness of plastic. Yeah. You got Winston. You got in the horn highlight, which is really cool. Either way, those are the taken play engines that I got. Now, some of these I got at the Strasburg Railroad, and some of these I got from the Day Out of Thomas's tents. But I also got most of these at the 